the 2019 Game Developers Conference, the world's largest and longest running event serving professionals dedicated to the art and science of making games, concluded its 33rd edition on Friday, March 22nd, after a week of networking, learning and inspiration. The event broke last year's record attendance with a total of 29,000 industry professionals at San Francisco's Moscone Convention Center. From March 20th minus 22, DD will be returning to the Moscone Convention Center Monday, March 16th to Friday, March 20th. 2020. The call for submissions for DD 2000. Under 20 will open in the summer. DD 2000 and 19 hosted a slew of content over the course of the week, including a total of more than 780 lectures, panels, tutorials and roundtable discussions, as well as more than 550 exhibitors on the expo floor. This year introduced the DD main stage, the developer's journey, a multi-part presentation that featured Shab already of Mitted Molecule, Shumri of Hello Games, and Laro in McWilliams of Microsoft describing the sources of inspiration that drew them to game development and propelled them, though the challenges of creating and releasing games out into the world. A new edition for 2019, the GD at the Gardens added areas to relax, games to play, and a Pokemon Go Pokestop, hosted by Niantic. The Giddy Film Festival returned, after its 2018 debut to give pass holders access to a slew of feature films and documentaries about games and game production. The indie game scene continues to thrive at DD, with multiple showcases for cutting-edge titles. The Independent Games Festival Pavilion gathered many of the most acclaimed indie games of the year, allowing pass holders the opportunity to try the games themselves. Likewise, the indie mega booth, M8-Bit, and Double Fines, Day of the Devs, the traveling indie developers at Trend Jam, and the Super Chillax Indie Lounge, called the Mild Rumpus Game, talented development teams, the opportunity to show off their games. At the 21st annual IF Awards ceremony on Wednesday night, Lucas Potts, a relatively rich modern mystery, Return of the Obra Dinn, won the Summas McNally Grand Prize. The award comes six years after the 2013 Grand Prize win. Of his previous title, Papers, Plays, that same night, Return of the Obra Dinn received the award for Best Narrative. At the 19th annual Game Developers' Choice Awards, which immediately followed the IF Awards, the big winner for the night was Sony Santa Monica's God of War, which won the prize for Game of the Year. An archive of the IF Fund GDCA ceremonies can be viewed at HTTP, Twitch, TV, DD. The thousands of attendees of DD have their sights set to the past as well as the future of the video game industry. In the spirit of reminiscence, DD asks the developers of many of the greatest classic games to come to DD to describe rewarding, challenging and sometimes charmed development processes that gave rise to classic games. Paperboy, Command Conquer, Panzer Dragon, Spider-Man 2 and Lemmings, The GD is Expo Flower which was open from Wednesday through Friday, was spread across the sprawling and newly renovated halls of Moscone, South and Moscone North. The expo floor encompassed more than 550 exhibitors, showing off their newest technologies, software and services from games and tech industry leaders, like Epic Games, Amazon, Intel, Google, Microsoft, Sony Interactive Entertainment, Unity and many others. The playable out, Turtle, DD Space let attendees try their hands, uh, in some cases, their other body parts, 
at unconventional controllers and alternative control schemes. The special GD play area allowed emerging developers to display their games to key distributors, publishers and investors in attendance. In the Moscone's West Hall, the shut-up sit-down area allowed attendees to enjoy the best tabletop board games of the year. Amidst the technological breakthroughs of the latest hardware, software and services was a larger discussion taking place in and around GDL about the labor that goes into game creation and the growing dialogue around the unionization of the games industry with vocal support from noted developers and speakers. And spirited GD sessions center on the challenges and opportunities of industry unionization. The questions posed at DD 2019 are likely to echo in the coming years, with the industry wrestling with what a labor union would look like, and what changes that might bring about. The Game Developers Conference evolves with every year, encompassing new trends, new technologies and bringing up new questions. For the whole industry to reckon with, DD brings people together and gives developers a space to solve those problems and invent the solutions to help developers make better games that can be enjoyed by more people, said Katie Aston, general manager of the Game Developers Conference. From the countless indie showcases in under and DD, to the amazing novia hardware and cloud gaming technology from industry stalwarts. The GD is a conference for developers of all shapes, sizes and backgrounds. This year, we concluded GD with eyes wide open for the challenges and potential for the future of games. We are even more in awe of the hard work it takes to create compelling games and appreciative of the connections made here to facilitate better games and better work environments to come. For more details on NGDC 2019 visit the show's official website, or subscribe to your regular updates via Facebook, Twitter, or God Art Sutra and DD are sibling organizations, under parent company Informa. Konami has discontinued the in-game sale of Pro Evolution, Soccer 2019, X-Mile Club Coins currency in Belgium a move that seeks to keep the game from falling on the wrong side of Belgian laws against loot boxes and similar chance-based purchases. The Belgian Gaming Commission ruled that loot boxes qualify as games of chance, something banned under existing gambling laws. Back in early 2018, since a number of game companies have had to amend their monetization, Schemes for Belgian titles upload the games from sale outright to avoid prosecution. A handful of Square Enix mobile games, for example, were pulled from Belgian stores late last year over monetization methods. Other games, like in the next Guild Wars, to and is FIFA 18, have had their in-game courses or loot boxes retroactively removed. To stay in line with Belgian law, in the case of PES 2019, Belgian players will no longer be able to spend their hard-earned cash on the game's MyClub coins currency once the change goes out, though they will still be able to earn coins through in-game systems and spend them all the same. To death the day, organizers of the 2019 Game Developers Conference are excited to review fleet winners of this YARS BEST in Play Wars. This award program is part of the popular 3D YGDC Play 2019 event, which helps engine developers showcase their work at BD. Having your game selected as a winning entry is kind of a big deal, because of DD Play exhibitors had their games, not all of which are finished. Judge it be a panel of veteran GD organizers. Now, each of these eight best in play award winners, listed below, will 
Racing Tool Access passes to the 2020 Game Developers Conference. Winners will also receive special Best in Play designations they can attach to their tablet DD 2019, where their games will be playable by all GD attendees. Plus, if you are a GDC All Access Pass holder, you can directly contact all GD play exhibitors via THGDC play matchmaking software. Again, all of these games will be available to play in the GD play on site exhibit this year at GD play 2019, which will be open Wednesday through Friday, March 20th through the 22nd. Inside the Moscow Me Convention Center, this year, there will be a VR play area, supported by HTC, where you will be able to play an assortment of VR games. Best in Play 2019 winners.